Good morning, guys. So we are ready for Saxon Phonics Lesson 103. So we are going to put our alphabet in order on the next slide, but let's say our alphabet in a special way, okay? So what we're going to do is for our vowels, I want you, if our vowels, you're going to say them really loud and our um, consonants, you're going to whisper. Are you ready? So we'd start with our initial letter, which is A, which is a vowel. So we'd say A. E, G, H, I, J, L, M, N, O, Q, R, S, T, U, P, W, S, Y, Z. Very good. All right, and let's practice that by putting the letters in order. So what's our first letter? A, good job. After A, B, perfect. Then C, good job. Then D, and we know this is D because it's turned around. We say don't do that, D. After D, E, very good. Then F. Then G, good job. Then H, I, J, what comes next? K, very good. L, M, N, we need to move N up there. N, O, P, Q, uh oh, what goes right here? R. S, T, I need U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Awesome job. All right, let's go over our letter name cards real quick. We have final syllable, T-I-O-N, digraph U-E, diphthong O-U, Combination E R trigraph I G H and we got the dot so vowel Y digraph or diphthong O W then we have final syllable T L E digraph A Y diphthong O Y U consonant E remember this is one of our new ones digraph A W Final syllable, D-L-E, digraph E-A, digraph A-U, combination O-R, combination I-R, combination A-R, digraph A-I, I consonant E, final syllable, G-L-E, Combination, Q, U. Final syllable, B, L, E. Digraph, C, H, Y, Q. Diphthong, O, I. And then final syllable, F, L, E. Very good. All right, let's try some of our sounds. Are you ready? So, toy, oi. Diphthong, O, Y. Cheese. Digraph CH, rain, A, digraph AI, faucet, ah, digraph AU, straw, ah, digraph AW, remember that's one of our new ones, hey, A, digraph AY, yarn, Y, Y, horse, or, Combination O R bird er combination I R butter er combination E R lotion shun final syllable T I O N steak A digraph E A mouse ow Diphthong O U, thread 
e, digraph e a, thimble, digraph t h, cow, ow, dot, diphthong o w, shark, sh, digraph s h, leaf, e, digraph e a, light, i, trigraph i g h, hose, o, o consonant e, candle, dull, final syllable, d l e, blue, u, u consonant e, bubble, bull, final syllable, b l e, hook, uh, Digraph O O, very good. Cry I, vowel Y, star R, combination A R, tooth O, digraph O O, oil Oi, diphthong O I, quilt Qu, Combination Q, U, and candy E, vowel Y. All right, you're going to listen to these words and we're going to take off that final sound. Are you ready? So if I have straw without the ah, I'm just left with str. Very good. How about hand without the d? Is just hand. Perfect. Troop without the p is just true very good grape without the p is just gray perfect all right look at these words how do you think you would code these words hmm let's look at the first one i see my vowel is right here and it's got an n behind it so i think that is going to be short that i has an n behind it so i think it's going to be short okay the O has an L behind it, so I think it's going to be short. Okay, so since each word's vowel has a consonant behind it, you would try to code it with a breathe, okay? So now we're going to try to sound those words out. Are you ready? Bl end. Blend? No. End. Fend? Ah, old. Alb. T, ald. Called. Do those sound correct? No. Let's try it with a long vowel and see what happens. Are you ready? Blind. Blind. Find. Find. Old. T old. Told. These words are rule breakers. When the letters I and O are followed by two consonants, they are sometimes long instead of short. So look. I've got one, two consonants, that makes it long. One, two consonants, it makes it long. One, two consonants, it makes it long instead of short. So these are rule breakers, okay? There are enough of these word, words that we actually have their own category for, and we call them wild cult words. Wild cult words do what they want like wild cults. A cult is a type of horse, so we're talking about a wild one that's not going to file follow rules. See, look, wild cult. When you see words like this, try the short vowel first. Then if it doesn't sound right, you can always try the long vowel. So you're still going to try to code it with the short, but then when you sound it out, if it doesn't sound right, you can change it to the long. So remember, these are just for rule breakers, okay? So we're going to try a couple of those. And I'm going to put the L and the T behind it. And this is the first word because wild, k, old. Cult. If I would sound it the other way, cult. Does that sound right? No. Cult. Okay. If I change it to an H, now it's holt. Holt. And then a J. J. Alt. Jolt. Instead of J. Alt. Jolt. Okay. What about M? M. Alt. Molt. Let's try a couple more. Are you ready? Let's change it with the I. Okay, so I'm going to add an M in front of it. And if I sounded it out with a short vowel, M, 
illed, milled. Does that sound right? No, if I tried it with the long, m ild mild. Very good. And then if I put a W, what would it be? Wild. Good job. So remember, if you've got those two consonants like that LD behind it, and you have a vowel and it doesn't sound right short, you can try it with a long vowel, okay? So let's go ahead and practice that. Hi guys, so we're gonna go ahead and code some words today. So let's look at our first word. What do you notice about this word? Remember, we always check the end names first. That's right, it has suffix N-E-S-S -S or ness. So I can box that off. I already know that that says ness. So I don't have to worry about sounding out that part of the word. Okay, what else do you notice? Hmm, this is one of those tricky words. Cause look, it's an O in front of an L. So normally it would be short. And I know that C is going to have the k sound because it's in front of an O. So I would say k -ald. Does that sound right? Caldness? No, this is one of those tricky cult words. Listen, k -ald. It does a long O in front of the L sometimes. So now when I say it, I say k -ald. Cold. So coldness. Very good. Okay, so coldness. Remember, this is one of those sight words that just doesn't make sense. So we're going to circle it. Coldness of, and then down here, what do you notice? It's got the ending ED. So I'm going to go ahead and box it off. And then what else do you notice? It's got that digraph SH I need to. Now look at my A, though. Hmm. It's actually A consonant E. Because remember, when we add that ED to a word that has an E at it anyway, then it we don't want to put EED, so we just drop one of the E's. So this is still an A consonant E word. So that means that that A needs to be long, okay? So sh shaved, shaved, very good, shaved. And then over here we have I consonant E. So long I, silent E, and then that S, or that C is in front of an E, so it's going to make an S sound. So ice, ice. Coldness of shaved ice. Very good. And then down here, what do we have? We have I by itself. We know it's just going to make that long I sound. We know how to read that word. And then right here in this word, what do you notice? It's got that O-U diphthong. So I'm going to mark those together, and we know it's going to make the owl sound. So found, I found, and then over here. Remember, we've coded this word a lot. So we just know that that TH we're going to underline, and then that E, remember, makes that schwa sound because it says the. That E sounds like a U, so we're going to make an upside down E on top of it to make that uh sound. So I found the, and then over here, what do you notice? I've got an A and an O with a consonant in between it. So remember, if I have that vowel, consonant vowel pattern, I break it up after that first vowel. So now it's like a wall is up. That A is at the end of that syllable, so it's going to be open and long. So I'm going to say B A. And then over here, usually an O in front of an N is going to be short, but let's sound that. Bake on. Bake on. Is that how we say that word? Bake on. No, this is actually one of those schwa sounds again. So I'm going to put that upside down E because we say bacon. We make that uh sound in the middle. So I found the bacon. Very good. Let's read it one more time. Coldness of shaved ice. I found the bacon. All right, you guys did an awesome job. Thank you. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get our activity sheet out so we can practice those wild cult words. All right, guys, we are ready for our activity sheet for lesson 103. I remember this lesson was a little bit different because we talked about what we call wild cult words because in the word wild, listen, wild, it should be a short I if it followed the rule since it has a consonant behind it, but it actually has the long I sound and k ult is the same way. It makes a long O sound even though it needs to have a sh um, it should, if it followed the rules, 
of a short O sound. So we're just going to start by warming up by practicing some of our spelling sounds. So I, if I make the ch, ch sound, how would you spell that? C-H digraph. Very good. What about the sh sound? That's right. Our S-H digraph. Okay. What about the sound like thimble. TH digraph. Very good. I'm trying to make a pattern for you. All right. What if I want to make the er sound? Er. ER. Very good. What about the t, t sound? That's right. It can be T, but remember it can also be final T at the end of a word, or it can be ED. Remember, if we're adding ED, sometimes it makes that t sound. All right, what about the M mm sound? M, good job. What about the B, B sound? B, perfect. How about the D, D sound? It can be D, it can be D or ED at the end. Remember, ED can sometimes just sound like D. All right, and then what about qu, qu? Q, U, perfect. And then the, what if I want to spell the w, w sound? W, good job. All right, on number 11, we're going to try to spell the word clean. Clean, so I have Cool, C-L, very good. How about the E sound? Now this is tricky because to make that E sound, we can make a couple different ways, but this time it's gonna be that E-A vowel digraph. Clean, clean, very good. How about please, please? We have pull, that's right, P-L, then E. It's E-A again. Remember, it could have been E-E because the sound P. E-Z. Okay, it's making that Z sound at the end, but it's actually the S-E that's going to make that Z sound. All right, what about the word kind? Kind, I hear it K, 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 then I, N, N, D, D, D. Now, I know it doesn't need a sneaky E. I'm going to show you why. Because look, it's got two consonants behind there. So we're not going to add a stinky E afterwards, okay, for kind. It's one of those wild coat cult words. How about told? Told, I have t, 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 o, o, and then o, l, d, d, d. So again, we don't add an E because it's got two consonants behind it. How about most, most, mm, m, o, long o, and then st, st, st. So we're not going to add that e because it's got two consonants behind it. Good job. All right, up here, or number 16, we're going to try to code this word. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you. Okay, what do you have in it, this word? That's right, I've got that ch. Now look, I've got an I in front of an L, so if I mark it as short, let's see what happens. Ch, ild. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. So I'm going to try it with a long I now. Ch, ild. Child, very good. How about on number 17? What do you notice? <gasps> Ooh, good job. You have to check the end. I've got N-E-S-S. Okay, so I need to box that off because I know it's going to be by itself and say ness. And then what else do I have? I've got an I in front of an N, so let's check and see if it's going to be short. Bull end. Blindness? Does that make sense? No. Let's try it with the long I. Blindness. Blindness. Very good. All right. What about our next word? Ooh, I see two separate words, so I need to divide them up right there. My second word, I see that digraph SH, and I've got an I in front of it, so I'm going to make sure it's short. So, f ish, fish, very good. So, I need something that's going to go in front of fish. 
Well, I've got an O in front of the L, so I'm going to try it short first. So, g -ald. Goldfish, does that sound right? No. Let's try it with a long O. g -ald fish. Goldfish. Very good. And I can tell that's my picture, so I'm going to go ahead and match it. All right, on number 19, what do you notice about it? Ooh, it's got ED at the end, so I need to make sure I box that off. I've got an O in front of an S, so let's try it short. P Posted, posted. Does that sound right? No, let's try it with the long. P posted. Posted. Is posted a word? Yes. All right. Uh, this next word, when we say wild coats, this is the word wild, so I know I'm going to have to add that long I. W wild. Wild. All right. Down here on number 21, what do you notice about that word? Ooh, it has final syllable, D-L-E. So let's bracket it off. My E's gonna be silent. And then look here, my A is right in front of a wall, so it doesn't have anything behind it, so it's gonna be long. So I have la-a-dle, ladle. And a ladle is the spoon that you use in the kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and have to go all the way around the next word for it. Look how long our next word is. This is a compound word, so I'm going to divide it up, okay? And then we're going to try to figure out what it is. And my first word, I have digraph TH. I've got a U in front of an N, so that U is going to be short. So, th un, and then I have that ER, d -er, thunder, thunder, very good. All right, and then over here, what do you see in the second word? I've got that OU, so cl -oud. Thunder cloud, very good. All right, and 23, do you see anything that we need to code? We haven't seen this in a while. It's got suffix L-Y that I need to box off. And then over here I have W-I-D-E. So I've got I consonant E. So that means that I is long and that E is silent. So wide, widely, widely. All right, on our next word. Do we have any endings or anything we have to mess with? Nope, so I need to find my vowels. I've got an A and an A with a consonant between it. So remember, I'm gonna try to break it apart after that first vowel. So since that A is in front of the wall and nothing's behind it in that syllable, it's gonna be long. So R, A, and then I've got that A-R that I need to hook together. D, R, radar, radar. And then our last word, what do you notice about it? Ooh, it's got final syllable, T-I-O-N. Very good. So I know that's going to say shun. And then in the first part of the word, I just have that A-U. So auction, auction. Very good. All right. On the back, I'm going to help you read this. And then we're gonna to try to figure out some of the words at the bottom together, okay? It says, wild coat words are just like real wild coats, colts. No matter how hard you try to tame, tame them, they do not do what they are supposed to. So when we talk about wild colts, you can think of it being like a wild horse, okay? They don't follow the rules. I think they just have minds, minds of their own. You can't hold them down. You can't scold, scold them. That means get them in trouble. Wild cult words are bold, bold, and do not follow our rules. There are even some that follow both rules. We wind, wind the clock, but the cold wind is blowing. We can't forget about words like sold, post, old, gr. Ind and gold. We really need them. 
So I guess we will let them be the way they are. Wild cult words. Okay, so what do these words act like? Remember it says right here, it says they are just like real wild colts. So I'm just going to write a wild colt, which is a wild um, young horse. Okay, name three wild colt, colt words. So they give us some. You see it? We can name any of these. Sold, post, sold. It gives us a whole bunch for us to choose from. Hold on, so I'm going to make that a little bolder. Sold, because it says old, post, and old. You can name a bunch of those words that they have for us. Name one wild cult word that can have a short or long sound. Hmm. I'm going to show you. Are you ready? Look right here. It says some of them file boasts. We have we wind the clock, but the coal wind. Wind and wind just depends on how you need to read it, but they're spelled the same. Okay. All right, you can just practice reading these words down here and you're all done. Thanks, guys. You did awesome.